Here we have a typical two sample T test. What we've got is two different samples and we're trying to test whether the test drug is better than the placebo. So what I've got is I've got a, a hypothesis which says, and it will always be the same to start with, that the two means are the same. The alternative hypothesis for this one is saying that the second drug is bigger, is better than the first drug and our level of significance. Now remember the H1 here may be not equal to, or this might be the other way around, depending on the tests that you're doing. And all I'm going to do is put all this information into the stat menu. I'm going to go to test, T, and I'm going to choose two sample rather than the one sample. Remember in the past we've used that one sample, but this time we're going to use the two sample. And I've already put everything in, so I've chosen variable for the first one. From the alternate hypothesis, I said that I want mu2 to be bigger than mu1. And then I just put in the first mean, the first standard deviation, the number in the sample, and then done the same with the second sample and put all that in. I'm going to keep pulled as off. You will choose pulled on if the variances or the standard deviations are the same. So generally it's pulled off. So I'm ready to go now. Press execute and I've got two really important things here. I've got the T value and the P value. So T, let's just jot these down and we'll make a conclusion. T is negative 1.83 and you might be asked for that. And the P value is negative 0 0.34, slightly rounded up. Now to put all this in context, I think about having a T curve, student T curve, and I think about this 5% level of significance, similar to before. So this is my significance level. And I think, where is P? And if P is inside that shaded area, which it is, then we reject HO. So in this one, conclusion is reject HO. And if I want to write all that out, that would mean that at 5% level of significance, the test drug is better.